Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Chemical Engineering Knowledge. In this lecture, we will discuss about the flash distillation. Uh, we will solve a problem related to the flash distillation. So the problem is a mixture of 40 percent, a mixture of 40 mole percent benzene and 60 mole percent toluene is being flash distilled at a rate of 10 kilomole per hour at one atmospheric pressure. The liquid product should not contain more than 30 mole percent benzene. Uh, determine the amount and composition of the top and bottom product. So we have a mixture of benzene and toluene. The mole percent of benzene in the fluid is 40 mole percent and the mole percent of toluene in the fluid is 60 mole percent and the molar flow rate of the fluid is 10 kmol per hour. The total pressure of the mixture is 1 atmospheric pressure and the bottom product contains 30 mole percent benzene. And the relative volatility of the mixture is the relative volatility of benzene uh, the, uh, the volatility of benzene relative to toluene is 2.5 or the relative volatility of the mixture is 2.5. So what will be the amount and composition of the top and bottom product? This is the question. Now this is the flash distillation column, flash distillation column, flash distillation column. The fluid is entering to the flash distillation column. This is the fluid. This is the top product and this is the bottom product. The top product is denoted by D and the bottom product is denoted by W. The fluid is denoted by F. Uh, the molar flow rate of the fluid is 10 kmol per hour. The mole percent of benzene in the fluid is 40 mole percent. The mole percent of toluene in the fluid is 60 mole percent. The total pressure of the mixture is 1 atmospheric pressure. So what will be the amount of the top and bottom product? And what will be the composition of benzene and toluene in the top product? And what will be the composition of benzene and toluene in the bottom product? So, this is the first of all we will write the material balance. Over all, first of all we will write over all material balance. So, um, material balance input is equal to output. So, what is the input? Fluid is entering to the system. So, it is our input. The top and bottom product are coming out from the system. So, these two are the output. Input is equal to output. So this is the input, the fluid is input and the D and W are the output. So fluid is input and D and W are the output. Input is equal to output. Now, now the fluid is, now the question is, the fluid is, the molar flow rate of the fluid is 10 kmol per hour. The mole percent of benzene in the fluid mixture is 40 mol percent or 0.4. Uh, the fluid is 10. 10 kmol per hour and the top and bottom product are D plus W. So 10 is equal to top and bottom product. This is the overall material balance. Now after that we will write the component balance. So the component balance on benzene. There are two components. One is benzene and the other is toluene. We will write material balance on the benzene. So the fluid again this is the fluid. This is the mole person of benzene in the fluid. This is the top product, this is the mole person of benzene in the top product, this is the bottom product, this is the mole person of benzene in the bottom product. The mole person of benzene in the bottom product is 30%, 30 mole percent or 0.3. So again this is fluid is 10 and mole person of benzene in the fluid is 4. So 10 multiplied by 0 0.4 is 4 and this is the again top product, mole person of benzene in the top product, bottom product and mole person of benzene in the bottom product. So Similarly, after this, we will write the relative volatility. The relative volatility of the mixture is 2.5, which is given to us from the definition of relative volatility, which is nothing but the mole percent of benzene in the top product divided by the mole percent of uh, toluene in the uh, bottom. Uh, the mole percent of benzene in the top product divided by mole percent of uh, toluene in the top product divided by mole percent of benzene in the bottom product, which is XW divided by mole percent of toluene in the bottom product. So the mole percent of benzene in the top product uh, relative to mole percent of toluene in the top product divided by mole percent of benzene in the bottom product relative to mole, per, uh, uh, mole fraction of benzene in the bottom product. So this is the relative volatility of benzene to toluene. So this is the definition of relative volatility. The value of relative volatility is 2.5, so we will put 2.5, the mole percent of benzene in the top product and the mole percent of toluene is 1 minus XD. Because we know that the mole percent of benzene plus mole percent of toluene in the top product is 1. 
more percent of benzene in the mole percent of benzene in the top product and the mole percent of uh, toluene which is uh, 1 minus xd when we add these two terms we will get 1 similarly uh, similar for the bottom product so mole per uh, uh, the relative volatility value is given to us uh, and the uh, mole percent of benzene in the bottom product which is xw which is 30 percent 30 mole percent so this is 0 0.3 and 1 minus 30 percent uh, or 1 minus 0 0.7 uh, 1 minus 0 0.3 we, we will get 0 0.7 so uh, we will get 0 0.7 so again simplify the relative volatility term 2.5 0 0.3 0 0.7 after simplifying this equation we will get the mole percent of benzene in the top product which is 0 0.5.7 so mole percent of benzene in the bottom product is 0 0.3 mole percent of benzene in the top product is 0 0.5.7 and the feed is 10 kilo mole per hour so uh, again write the total material balance which is nothing but the feed give us the top product plus bottom product and this is the component balance on benzene uh, again the uh, feed is 10 and the, the mole percent of benzene in the feed is 40 percent so this was 4 as we have already derived this so this this is the this 4 and this is the the uh, top product which is d and the mole percent of benzene in the top product is 0.5.7 which we have obtained. Now this is the W bottom product and this is the mole percent of benzene in the bottom product which we have already obtained in this screen. This 0 0.5 and 0 0.3. Now, now simplify this relation further. The 4 and this is the 0 0.5.7, 0 0.3 into W. This is equation number 2. Now from equation number 1, from this equation we know that W is equal to F minus D. Again, simply. So, this is the 4, 0 0.5.7 and 2D plus 0 0.3 and in place of W, this W we will write F minus D. F minus D. Again, the period is 10 and this minus D. So, we, write, we will further simplify. This is the 4, 0 0.5.7, this is 0 0.3, 10 minus D. Further simplify it, 0 0.5.7 into D, 0, and this 10 will multiply by 3, we will get 3 minus 0 0.3 into uh, D. So, again simplify this, 4 minus 3, which is 1, and this is, when we further simplify this, we will get 0 0.217. So, the distillate of the top product is equal to 4.60 kilomole per hour. So, this is was, this is obtained, the top product is 4.60. 4.60 so 4.60 now the bottom product is very simple so p is 10 the top product is uh, 4.6 and the bottom product is obtained from f minus d is equal to w relation so uh, 10 minus 4.60 this will give us 5.40 5.40 will be the w kilomole per hour so this is the simple this was a problem so this was a, this, this was a trend this was a four point something and this was five point something so uh, when we add these two four point six and four uh, five point four we will get ten which is the field so this was a simple problem we have to the distillation column thank you very much for your attention if you are new to the channel please like and subscribe to my